I'm talking with Werner Uber right now. He's the head of all driver assistance technology at BMW, and we're here at the Consumer Electronics Show. What is BMW showing at this show? Yeah. At this show, we are uh, presenting two very interesting functionality of automated driving. One is a remote valet parking system, which um, parks the car for itself without a driver on board. And the other one is a safety cocoon, a 360 a degree safety ring around the car which avoid any bumping um, to, to shoulders or anywhere. Yeah. Let's go back to the first yeah. example, yeah. this automated yeah. valet parking. Yeah. How does that work? Yeah. It works, uh, the, the driver gets out of the car and says to the car, goodbye, find a parking lot um, and come back when, I, when, I, when, when I'm asking you. So uh, it's it's uh, looking for a for, for for a parking space. It gets a map in it. It's necessary to have a map, uh, a rough map of the of, of the topology of the of, of the, the surrounding. Mm -hmm. And then the car is, is is finding its way. It's positioning itself, and it's it's parking in for itself, switching off, and and sleeps in. Okay, so yeah. I'm sure you're not talking to your yeah. car. How do yeah. you control this? You control it by a smartwatch. You can uh, you have a always a connection to your car you get out of the car and then you start uh, the functionality by uh, pressing um, a button at your uh, intelligent watch it's sent to the car and the car moves so wearables are starting yeah. to make their way into the sure. automotive industry yes, yeah it's also interesting to have such a wearable to get an, an, an continuous contact to the to the car to know where it is uh, what's the status of the car is is it already sleeping and uh, to, to get it back either. And when might we see something like this yeah. in the marketplace? Um, we have to, to say that it's a, it, it's a, it's a vision of, of a research, uh, um, of the research department of BMW. Uh, from research to reality, there might be five to seven years. But it's out there. It's but it's coming. out there, yes, it's coming. Okay, sure. and, and talk about that other technology yeah. that you're showing here. That Explain yeah, that The a other bit technology more. is based on the same sensor setup of the car. There are four LiDAR scanners uh, around the car detecting the environment. And where we, on the one hand, uh, build up a comfort system like valet parking, we can, on the other hand, build up a safety system like 360-degree collision avoidance. Um, the driver is driving for himself. But if he approaches to a wall or to any obstacle, the car stops very close to that ob obstacle and avoids any any bumping to that to that obstacle. It, it, it saves a lot of money for you. It, it yeah. could, but it could yeah. save uh, prevent a lot of accidents. And it prevent a lot of accidents um, be between cars, between pedestrians, also uh, between cars and pedestrians. So it's a it's, it's a very good safety system to like like a safety cocoon. You're sheltered uh, in a in a cocoon and. As you behave, you cannot bump to anything. In this yeah. case, an yeah. electronic cocoon. An electronic cocoon, yeah, very, very good, very, very good explanation. Yes, yeah, cool. <laughs> so, Werner, very exciting show here at yes. CES. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've got to believe you're wandering around yeah. looking yeah, at sure. things. What yeah. are you on the lookout for? Ma mainly, um, I'm looking for, for for issues corresponding to to autonomous driving, driver assistance. That means. Um, are there new sensors, in, uh, environmental sensors, to, to, to detect anything? Are interesting companies, IT companies, which, which can help us to, um, to, to, to process the data, to fusion the data, and um, all, all, all this stuff. But, but, but there are so many impressions um, that I think also beyond autonomous driving to consumer electronics in general. There's just yeah. a lot of fun yeah. things to look at. Fun things. Yes, sure. Werner Hoover, yeah. thanks so much for your time today. What a thank pleasure. You. Yeah. Yeah, thank you thanks so much. So much. Yeah. And keep tuning in to AutoLine. We've got a lot more coming from the floor of the Consumer Electronics Show. Auto Line on the Road from the 2015 Consumer Electronics Show is brought to you by Mitsubishi Electric. Changes for the better through innovation and technology. Visit booth 15438 and ask how Mitsubishi Electric's newest technologies are driving connected vehicles forward.